is that I think I think it is not that these young people <coughs> these days their interest in science and technology and engineering in general is sort of decreasing. Mm -hmm. And what is the problem with this? You know, uh, do we have? We don't have any enough of the motivation to them. Mm -hmm. We just need to analyze the things. <laughs> well, we want to provide some answers. Um, in Korea, uh, the statistics shows we usually have PhDs from our work. Yeah. yeah, well, we, we cover all, a lot of uh, different mm -hmm. things, but mainly engineering. So. The question is uh, if there is uh, some additional to engineering. Engineering science, well, we know it's uh, the most important part for the future of our nations. We need that. Before you can uh, start with that, well, that's what, what, what you asked. Have we, do we have any other After uh, we talk points? about this, you know, why this decrease in interest in engineering, but also I think we can raise this question, you know, can add to that. I'm just asking this just from the very beginning because I know, you know, the president has to leave uh, earlier than then yeah, yeah. What time do you think you have to leave? Well, so I'm going to just give him a chance to talk about it. This is legal. See, from Indian point of view, there are enough people coming for it. Uh, the second uh, choice is medicine. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. But we're going to get there. Mm -hmm. You know, 15, 20 years from now, that problem is going to be there. <laughs> we have another problem that many engineers, after completing engineering, do MBA. Mm -hmm. They follow it up with a business degree yeah, right. because the industry pays the business graduate much, better. Mm -hmm. much more than they pay an engineering graduate. So they want a combination. Mm -hmm. That also is a drain of some kind because you have a specialization. He reads a lot of mechanical engineering and then he learns to be a manager. Mm -hmm. And he can doesn't need his mechanical engineering as mm -hmm. much as he would have otherwise. Mm -hmm. The problem has to do with uh, salaries mm -hmm. with the, in the industry. Mm -hmm. If the industry pays... MBAs most people will go to MBA. Afterwards, and the efforts you have done in your study—that's the story. Mm -hmm. So the, the um, image about the scientist or engineer in, as a whole you know, in society is not so you know, popular. And it's it's not, not reflected in the economic literature. Yeah, it's not. It's right. not reflected in the pay. Mm -hmm. Right. That's but why I any mean, student knows that they are not going to be very paid after all these years, you know, right. the, the research you know, and all that. So that's the, yes. Uh, the and at uh, uh, 22, you can't tell them, you know, go ahead and study. You know, between 18 and 22, you can't advise them, give them philosophical <coughs> advice like he said, and they won't come. Yeah, well, but there, there is a, a, a chance. You know, we have, I think it's all over the world the same. Engineering students are those who come from lower levels on the average <coughs> and uh, try to get better. Once they are on a higher level at home, uh, a higher uh, educated level, then they realize that uh, on the one hand they choose whatever they want because this is fun, uh, uh, history or, or language or things like that, mm -hmm. uh, or they have, because there is enough money at home. Uh, or they, uh, well, uh, they uh, try to uh, have some experience by their own. And, but they try to get better than their parents. This is true, especially for engineers. And therefore, we have a chance to get more. That's what I said earlier. We should uh, motivate the rest of the population in our countries which are not aware of higher education. Uh, and we have a lot of them, and uh, that's what I, what I uh, say, what uh, we should have, and uh, don't laugh, we should have a daily soap, a very primitive daily soap where not the policemen, the lawyers, the businessmen, and the medical doctors are the good guys, but the engineers and the scientists are the good guys, and the <laughs> other are the bad guys. <laughs> this is really to motivate the rest of the, of the, the people. Well, we have, in all the te television, we have special uh, features about um, science, and so, but only those people who are aware of the problem are looking at these things. Yes. True, people. true. Mm -hmm. And so you need a very primitive, with all, with sex and crime and all sorts of things, yeah. from five to six in the evening. <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing because the, we used to have this particular program called the KAIST, which it's mm -hmm. years ago we started, you know, because we, the, the nationwide, we wanted to put the science and technology uh, focus and into the state. They make this special university KAIST and then uh, they really have to make the young people to motivate to come to this university and realize this is good so they have so popular mm -hmm. and it's very popular and they start to realize this is really <laughs> university so yes that's one uh, one thing to really change the people's mind yeah, there's one uh, catch in 
session office initially it appears very attractive and the IT industry pays more than the manufacturing industry. Mm -hmm. But things are changing. Now manufacturing is beginning to pay uh, higher salaries yeah. in India. And I think that's the only way they'll be able to attract people to engineering. This, uh, this is exactly what, you know, the same thing is happening. Here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, then I started uh, realizing that, you know, this uh, social kind of phenomena has got a very deep, you know, uh, cause. And, you know, if we don't do anything about it, this will mean that uh, my country, Japan, is going to eventually lose the... Uh, you know, social power. <laughs> so, so I had to write a book about this, <laughs> which is now translated in Korean. So I, I bought a copy. Uh, but I uh, keep saying, uh, you know, whenever I have opportunity to uh, the, uh, you know, people that uh, unless uh, the assign, you know, like uh, researchers or engineers uh, go up the career ladder to sit, uh, you know, in the uh, driver's seat, means, uh, you know, CEO or CRO, then this will mean that Japanese uh, manufacturing or industry, even you know, as a com country, is going to lose eventually, you know, the power. Yeah. Well, in my university, it's a very specialized small university. It's called Information and Communications University. And interestingly, we have two, uh, let's say, college. We don't call it college, though. It's uh, one is IT engineering. And that is the IT management. <laughs> we provide. We are motto is that we would like to produce the engineers who understand the management mm -hmm. and managers who understand this IT industry. So, what do you think? Anyway, mm -hmm. this is a story because young people who actually finish their undergraduate they go to MBA. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. straight. Or they have these days they instead of going to classically we go you know from bachelor's, master's, and PhDs. Right. Young people stop doing that and they go. To, from BA or BS, and they may go to the master's degree and then mm -hmm. have a double degree, double mm -hmm. master's, right. having yeah. an MBA. Mm -hmm. So this is a situation. Um, okay, you hear about all this you, from European <laughs> point of view uh, as an economist. How can you do but something I, about all this? Well, I still think that, that underlying the mm -hmm. comments just made mm -hmm. is that decision making mm -hmm. has shifted over time. Mm -hmm and is much more in the hands of the management of finance, the organization, strategy, vision. And for one reason or the other, the vision has no, is no longer with the technicians or the engineers. Mm -hmm. In most companies, mm -hmm. if you look at the, 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 the CEOs of companies, right. mm -hmm. it's no longer the CTO who has the dominant position within a board of governors or the board of the company, but it's increasingly either the finance, mm -hmm. A person's or the organizational strategic visions, yeah. and I think that is that signal has certainly gone down to the students. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I think, in addition to the sort of, you know, the information society, television views, etc., youngsters identify their future with with a, a decision-making job. Mm -hmm. But in China, I heard mm -hmm. that many of the decision makers' backgrounds from technology and science. And yes. technology. Yes. That was very interesting. That's true. And but they the might shift with the MBA oh, to, okay. to give less importance to exactly. the technology. Exactly. Yeah. And more but to what do you think that the, the government may interfere to have different policy to have you know, mm -hmm. top level mm -hmm. uh, people or higher <laughs> officers <laughs> can? It's very difficult. I recommend it and to our government that mm -hmm. they should have 10 years of experience before they do it. MBA, engineer. No, that no. If you ask the high school students, in many cases they really don't uh, know what to do. I think there's another reason, and this is uh, we have uh, some kind of entertainment all the time. And entertainment means uh, like infotainment and all such things that things must go easy. Yeah. And uh, science and engineering is not easy just in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Mathematics and thermodynamics and all such things, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are used, even in high school, uh, to have it easy, in yeah. some sense. Mm -hmm. Just fun. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And this is not, uh, science and engineering is not fun, especially in yeah. the beginning. I think this is one of the most important points. Uh, when a lot of them start with that, but they, they skip. After some while. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Just one second. Are you Dr. Wrighton? Yes, I am. Yes, from okay, Washington University, right? Yeah. Okay. We are just talking. Today's topic for this particular, you know, gathering is that um, there is an increase. Uh, <laughs> there is a tendency that for these young people these days, there is a decrease in their interest in the science and technology. <laughs> <laughs>
but well, they do that because it's IT industry is booming and yeah. they pay very well now. Mm -hmm. So we would like to have some wise uh, way of solving these problems and measures. From what he said, so maybe you need profs and romantic roles on TV too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's young people to become a professor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, they are the, you know. There was, there was a television show on forensic chemistry. Ah, oh, forensic chemistry. Yeah. Yeah. This is it's about crime. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. He's not an action hero. You know, he works very slowly from behind the scenes and solves the problem. <laughs> I, I don't see it too much television myself. I know, but what I'm saying is for the younger people, what appeals is the action hero. Mm -hmm. oh, we had a talk today in this session that it is young people's traits these days. They just cannot think about the future. They don't even think about the, what happened before. They yeah. now yes. just, you know, yes. quick solutions and yes. easy solutions and uh, yeah. fun, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's just uh, maybe do we have to teach them, I mean, can we uh, teach them to really have a deep thinking or whatever? But I would push it a bit further from what yeah. the idealistic vision which you find in terms of science and engineering today. And I think this is where the, the, the engineers and the scientists at this moment don't have, no longer have a big, great challenge which they should put forward to youngsters. And there, you could do this with sustainable development. You could do it with energy technology. You, you look at this whole mm. race in Australia on sustainable cars. These are, you typically see that that attracts a lot of press coverage. But I would go for more of these sort of mission uh, challenging issues where you should put back it to youngsters that with engineering skills this is what we're waiting for uh, uh, solutions to some of the society's problems mm -hmm. which go back into mm -hmm. material solutions mm -hmm. not into the life-saving and other solutions mm -hmm. of, of ER and all the other sort of uh, sort of idealistic types of things but these sort of yeah. Yeah. They, they are mm. Uh, but w when say they enter the university, they change to other parts. It's interesting, automotive and all such things. But mm -hmm. this is a vision. Mm -hmm. Astronomy and uh, space agencies and all such things. This uh, should be well put more in an emphasis on this, just to keep the people. Once they are uh, there, they do other things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, uh, my personal recommendation is also being for my colleagues to go to school and. Tell them nice stories about biographies of scientists and mm -hmm. engineers. They used to do that, mm -hmm. you know, at the 1930s and all that. Uh, physics was very popular because people told stories about physicists' mm -hmm. personal lives. Right. Mm -hmm. And this attracts students a lot to that. Yeah. I think and we don't do that nowadays. Mm -hmm. People love, you know, you know uh, TV programs like uh, Project X mm -hmm. and uh, sort of a focused on some very, you know, challenging uh, developmental mm -hmm. project, you know, that uh, small number of uh, researchers did mm -hmm. very successfully, mm -hmm. but, you know, with uh, lots of uh, mm -hmm. uh, reverse, you know, wind, mm -hmm. uh, but they successfully done it. Uh, that kind of story, mm -hmm. or, uh, you know, these days uh, we see, we, I mean, uh, many people watch a flying man contest. Mm. People make, you know, yeah. 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 you know, students really love it, and uh, they yeah. devote, you know, their effort to uh, to you know, make those things. We had a yeah. paper with traction that school students have for it, and it came in large numbers to see it. Mm -hmm. We had a similar um, competition with noodles. <laughs> Macaroni, yeah, to, to build bridges with that. Uh, with glue with it? Yeah, yeah. 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 No, no, no. Right. Macaroni. Yeah, what kind of interesting stories. I, I mean, we've been trying on I mean, government level also, try to. And one of the things now we're talking about is we have a new you know, money, that the paper money, what do you call yes. that? Mm -hmm. And they usually have some picture or the drawing mm -hmm. portrait of the people, famous people. Mm -hmm. And now we are now talking about whose picture has to be on. Mm -hmm. And woman, of course, say there was some woman, but then scientists now, this time it has to be the scientists. Ah, yeah. So That's this kind of thing, it's, it's realizing that they are the people who are very respectful. They yeah. really, you know, serve yeah. to the... Yeah. So this, this is really interesting. Yeah. 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 You know, because it won't sell in India yet. It is one of the ideas. House, for example, was a distribution on, on the, the, the car. Oh, I see. That's mm -hmm. that's yeah. 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 So instead of having a queen, we have famous scientists that makes you know mm -hmm. uh, give mm -hmm. a bit deeper impression to mm -hmm. the young people. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so yeah. I'm just worried about you. You mm -hmm. must leave all year, so I would like to give you some more time to for him to talk before he leaves. So. 
Do you want to move on? Do you think we have discussed enough the why? And then uh, there is some ideas that we already gave to, but uh, we haven't heard too much from you because you were a bit late. But would you like to add some more to this? Uh, and maybe maybe because people want to move on maybe to the well, possible next I overheard a remark at or to medical school or to get an MBA, and you know just how much time you're going to have to expend. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to go and be a research scientist, it could be three, four, five, six years. Okay, and people are more anxious to move on in their careers. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to just give you more time. We are paying salaries now that are out of this world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, automatically, the best engineering students go into finance. Mm -hmm. And uh, we teach them, we teach them heat balance, mass balance, you know, energy balance. Mm -hmm. But they use it energy, they just translate it to dollars and to the balance there. They seem to do very well in finance mm -hmm. companies. They adapt themselves, but they have lost that engineering touch after a while. Mm -hmm. They do very well. But it's exactly like you said, the vision is set by the finance people. Mm -hmm. Even yeah. physicists now, uh, the majority of them are going in the finance sector. Yes. Mm -hmm. Stock market. Stock, stock, market. stock market is some of the yeah. brightest. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a story. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I must say they're personally <laughs> somebody who wants to invest in. Yes. Yeah. Undergraduate from. But it may not be bad. I mean, if mm -hmm. people see physics mm -hmm. as a route to making a mm -hmm. fortune in the investment arena. Why not? Well, we mm -hmm. cannot stop them, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. so he did his undergraduate in Berkeley in mm -hmm. uh, electric engineering and computer science, and then they moved directly to the Sloan School in my MBA. And then he has second uh, master's degree from um, uh, Carnegie Mellon University in software engineering, but then I think he want that his next move will be more towards the financial, yeah. <laughs> you know, so. Mm -hmm. uh, my, daughter was, yeah, my daughter is finishing PhD in chemistry in Berkeley next year. Mm -hmm. She already has an offer from the Boston Consulting Group. <laughs> <laughs> She's not doing it, <laughs> but the salaries they are offering yeah. are very difficult to resist. Yeah. Yeah. And she's decided not to take this particular job. Yeah. It's the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, economy, the, the whole economy is going that way, and people are about So, so. In the, in the sense of providing sufficient technical backgrounds mm -hmm. and Actually, analytical skills, analytical skills mm -hmm. which, mm -hmm. which social sciences, mm -hmm. including business studies, increasingly need. Mm -hmm. And strengths mm -hmm. to go through. Difficulties. Mm -hmm. yeah. So mm -hmm. it's only if you really are obsessed with the fact that these engineering students should go into engineering functions. Mm -hmm. But if that is the case and you don't see that is happening, mm -hmm. then I think the mistake goes back that these engineering companies are not paying mm -hmm. enough. Mm -hmm. Right. The yeah. I think there's a background. Is yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you know, like a, this got a you know, lots of technologies. Mm -hmm behind uh, this simple product. But I think it's uh, selling just too cheaply and because of over competition. And therefore, they can't pay engineers mm -hmm. you know, reasonable salary. Yeah, yeah. That is a very big problem. Mm -hmm. I think you hit the essence of all the problems. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be more, more and more a software dependent society mm -hmm. because it, everything, and then also that's going to be all free. Everybody wants it free now. Right. So mm -hmm. where does all this money come? that students don't come to art subjects at all. And art subjects are not easy doing mm -hmm. good work in arts are very difficult. Mm -hmm. That's a very serious concern because in the long run civilization is going to need that mm -hmm. point of view as well. But, but you can meet for it, etc. And, the, and its value will be incredible. But as soon as it has been made mm -hmm. once mm -hmm. by a company or an engineering right. company, its value and this makes the difficulty, of course, to pay engineers who've made this mm -hmm. on a continuous basis. So mm -hmm. the only thing you can do is put indeed copyrights, other features right. in so there, right. which yeah. is the intellectual right. property which yeah. you will add. But even that yeah, is ultimately, uh, this can always be re-engineered and yeah. you can avoid <coughs> the, the underlying so intellectual property. That's why marketing and all these other features are the only way in which companies are trying then mm -hmm. to add a little bit of marketing features, mm -hmm. advertising, mm -hmm. where they generate value, mm -hmm. which is much higher. Right. And that brings in that it is the social sciences, mm -hmm. psychology, all these other features, and the way you can convince consumers that uh, the way this is done in blue or mm -hmm. the different things is better than in black and all sorts mm -hmm. of other things. Mm -hmm. So value is shifting towards emotional mm -hmm. aspects rather than to the technology. That's true. Features. And additional to that, uh, the uh, 
velocity of changing. Mm -hmm. This is a, this is a or it's not uh, time enough to so get the money, money back, back for for yeah. the yeah. investment. Yeah. And everything changing effort. so fast. Right. Yeah. And he was concerned about the art. This is very very needed, and uh, people were aware that that makes money too. And mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. in the refrigerator these days, and everybody has a refrigerator, but they are selling the design. <laughs> 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 yes. like, you know, really. I mean, it's it's I part of the whole mm -hmm. the living environment. So, well, so I'm looking like, at art as a serious subject to study. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, there, there you have colleges closing down because they don't have students coming. Mm -hmm. ah, yeah. okay. We have a serious problem. That we have a serious problem with history. A very large number of students history, don't yes. know enough history. Mm -hmm. And I think history is very important in culture because yeah. you have to place things in context. Yeah. Yeah. But you see, this mm -hmm. uh, difference uh, in different countries. We don't have any problem for getting his historians. We have a lot of them in different countries. But not in other areas. We are losing historians too, actually. Really? It's not a popular subject at all. Uh, we are, so. it, it, is, it is, you know, the happening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we, I think one of the, se in our session, the one uh, we, we addressed is that the humanities, <coughs> um, you know, and, and fundamental arts and, you know, those things are being lost. Mm -hmm. And maybe some universities, an engineering universe, even before universities dealing with all these issues, but then not anymore because we don't draw the students here at all. So they don't have this humanities and we, it's our concern. So what is your ideas about this university have to, I mean the engineering school has to have a balance between humanities and art and engineering skills. So I think this is one of the issues that I really want to ask you is what is the, we have real review the goals of universities. Do we teach only those that entertain the industry's means? Mm -hmm. They do need this and they, they make money. We're talking about the money and mm -hmm. you know all those things. But then what about the very very basic values and humanities or the civilization itself? What is it's a very philosophical issue but mm -hmm. the should university try to balance this? And it's very difficult really at, mm -hmm. in Korean well, universities. So I think in, in asking, you know, what do institutions of higher education do and what should they do? I mean, at least in the United States, there's a great deal of diversity. Mm -hmm. So at an institution like ours, which is a comprehensive research university with a tremendous applicant pool, uh, we, can, we can engineer our class, so to speak. We have art. We have no problem filling the, the school. Uh, we have engineering. We have very talented students. But if you go down into um, most colleges and universities in the United States, they accept every qualified student. Mm -hmm. We're very selective. Mm -hmm. But when you're accepting every qualified student, they will migrate to where they think mm -hmm. the greatest opportunity mm -hmm. will be. Mm -hmm. That's right. So it isn't always possible to engineer mm -hmm. what you know the school will do, because mm -hmm. the students will move to the areas that they think most mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. I think there's such a diversity of mm. institutions mm. that a large number of needs can be fulfilled. Mm. Having more people go to college, even in the United States, mm. is still mm. an important objective. The larger question is, how do you encourage the right brain activities? Mm. Maybe what we need is a TV serial on <laughs> what the right brain does. I don't know. Mm. But this is a serious issue because, especially in countries like India, I think we're basically very intuitive people. Mm. But if you lose faith in your intuition, mm -hmm. then it evaporates. Mm -hmm. And then you're back to using only logic mm -hmm. and you lose mm -hmm. some essential discoveries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, in some countries the case. Uh, I think just what, what you said, uh, you need uh, combining the different uh, fields. For example, creativity is not uh, the first thing uh, engineers are talking about, but it's necessary. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, combining these two, ethics and all these questions uh, should be raised there and uh, therefore humanities should uh, play an important role in every university. Mm. Yeah, but in, in the curriculum uh, or the breadth that you know, having an engagement in the humanities and the arts uh, would really, you know, I, I personally believe the curriculum ought to be broader, the engineering degree ought to be a five-year degree, and they get they end up with masters. It's all German degree, yeah. If you're pursuing a degree in chemical engineering, uh, 
there's almost no time in your curriculum mm -hmm. uh, for the breadth for the, yeah, that breath. really prepares people, you know, we, we say we prepare people for their last job, not their first job, but, you know, it's a, it's a challenge to persuade parents that this is a good idea. Mm -hmm. Parents want their sons and daughters to mm -hmm. get great jobs right at the beginning, and so they wonder why don't we have more placements at Goldman Sachs. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I think uh, to some extent this is why you see also, I would argue, the decline of students in science or engineering. That is that it's becoming far too specialized in a particular area. Mm -hmm. The choice of students for liberal arts or for broad mm -hmm. a broad university degree and then afterwards being prepared to go to specialize which you observe, which then raises lots of issues about lacking the technical skills and being narrow in your, what you can do afterwards, mm -hmm. raises basically the issue that students don't like the, the idea to be heavily specialized in, for instance, chemical engineering, and then being, to some extent, wanting to make the shift afterwards because they discover that they don't want to spend the rest of their life yeah, in a mm. chemical firm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I think this is in terms of the choice of careers. Mm. You're putting too quickly to some extent. Mm. The students, you force them in a particular direction. Mm. And I think this must be, in my view, at least underlying some of the problems in terms mm. of the, the, tec the more technical mm. uh, uh, trajectories at universities. Basically, you might need more of uh, some sort of guidance the, yeah, uh, education the, before mm, the college level. The previous chairman of Tokyo University mm. put this basically by saying that mm. you know mm. each professor, mm. the student, I mean, he was talking more in terms of the research, becomes narrower and narrower yes. from every generation. Mm. Down. And ultimately, even what industry has today to do today mm. is to take the graduates mm. and to re-engineer them. Mm to address the much broader yeah. yes. complex problems they are confronted with in factories yeah. and other things. So That's the same. You, you have a movement to over-specialization. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's so really their you know, high level of analytical skills. Mm -hmm. you know. um, and without further training on you know, the right-hand side brain, <laughs> and those people will not be a successful consultants. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, uh, from the industry viewpoint, definitely good balance of left and right side of brain is you know, really critical. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, what we, I mean, yeah. we are talking about university level education, mm -hmm. of course, but you know, some, sometimes I think that it, it really starts th those analytical skills or, or right brain things and mm -hmm. creativity all has to grow from the very beginning, I think, early life. So mm -hmm. if you, you, or the, you know, if you don't want to really have very specific, narrow, uh, <laughs> I think that we need to prepare the students from very early on, elementary school mm -hmm. maybe, very probably, how, mm -hmm. what is this life is all about, and uh, think about the career beforehand, and, and what does that really mean to be a chemist or a scientist or the other. So, the, to me, uh, I mean, do we have to know about the high school and all that? Very dangerous <laughs> ground, because <laughs> from somewhere else, mm -hmm. that notion is there. I mean, right now, India and China are the largest manpower mm -hmm. pool. Mm -hmm. So probably the two of us have the least problems of this kind. Mm -hmm. But overall in the world, they just shop around. Mm -hmm. I mean it doesn't have to be from your own country. Mm -hmm. You'll get manpower from another country and the balances will settle over a period of time. I think educationists have a larger problem of determining what's beautiful to be taught, you know, what should we go to the next generation. Mm -hmm. We have yeah. such different problems. <laughs> 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 we are losing people to everywhere. I mean, the, the mm. really, the top students from Korea is they going abroad. Mm -hmm. And as someone, you know, in your mm. in your session addressed that uh, we lose people. It's brain drain happening. Mm -hmm. That's is doing very well. Oh well. Right. Uh, so far, yeah. that's been okay. Mm. But uh, we mm. can get not guarantee it will be same in five years or ten mm. years. So. It is uh, for us, I mean, that the immigration issue is also very important because mm -hmm. Korea was, I mean, for women and also the immigrants, uh, mm -hmm. it was not, you know, considered to be very valuable workforce. Now I think we have to, know. there's no choice, but it means that the change of the culture and everything. So any, any, anyway, mm -hmm. I realize that we have different type of the problems yeah. depending on which country mm -hmm. you are, but... Mm -hmm. Your birth rate, for example, it's mm -hmm. uh, similar ah, in yes. other countries. Yes. Uh, the more uh, developed the country is, the lower is the birth rate, and this yes. uh, causes uh, the, the main mm -hmm. problems there. You are an immigrant country, and uh, many other countries should be the same. 
I call we have a serious yeah. problem. Yeah. We have 1.08 percent, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. which if there's some people predict that in the year 200, uh, mm -hmm. in 200 there's, there's no Korea. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Unless we do something. Yeah. It's just, so How is and Germany Korea has similar problems in Japan. Hmm? How is North Korea doing? Because and North Korea is doing? Who knows? There's no statistics. I mean, the, this, mm -hmm. I, I always am educating of educating them and of carrying them out and of having people, if you really want to do it well, to spend also time in educating them at home in the first years, etc., 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 are so high that compared to the opportunity costs mm -hmm. in terms of not being able to work one of the partners, etc., not having childcare facilities available, in the sense, mm -hmm. people simply in a very logical say, way say, this is too expensive. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'm going to look after mm -hmm. my own welfare, individual mm -hmm. welfare, and I don't care about these overall issues. Mm -hmm. So if you would change, though, mm -hmm. as you see in the Scandinavian countries, mm -hmm. if you would change clearly that you have the best quality caring facilities, mm -hmm. that you are universal in every village, mm -hmm. that you have really facilities that you put the people with the highest qualifications looking after small children, mm -hmm. rather than having university professors mm -hmm. the, being the ones who look after mm -hmm. the old children being university. If so, in other words, if you turn mm -hmm. the upside down, mm -hmm. you invest most mm -hmm. at the lowest level and you put it there as a universal service, I'm sure you could, mm -hmm. you could shift yeah. mm -hmm. the, the behavior mm -hmm. of couples. And the government and is trying to mm -hmm. do, mm -hmm. a big, I mean, mm -hmm. the presidential election is coming soon and this candidate is saying the country the government is taking care of your child and your children. <laughs> if you have sorry children, we are doing this and that. But mm. uh, still, I think women, it's, it's in Korea, I don't know, maybe it is particularly Korean problem that women now start to realize that they want to... But the reason are Korean men. That's right. Yeah. Yes. And the reason <laughs> exactly. men, and the reason is exactly like in all the other European yeah. countries. Yeah. Exactly. You know, if we in you Europe, them out. if we could migrate, if <laughs> in Europe the <laughs> single market would lead that people would migrate, and we could move all Italian men to Sweden oh. and all Swedish men to Italy, yeah. or vice versa, yeah. do it the same with women. We've solved the problem. Oh. <laughs> 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 Taking care of everything, right? Like a Swedish woman would immediately say, "I don't want a Latin." macho lover or uh, husband, okay. he will so there obey the rules as I <laughs> can, or vice versa. <laughs> 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 okay. The other possibility is to start looking inward for contentment, oh. which is what uh, yeah. our spirituality recommended, yeah. but it seems so impractical these days, but it's really but the only is, way yeah. to reach contentment. How because we're think? going faster and faster and yeah. faster and not reaching the goals that we, we do want that? to do that. I mean, I really think that's a very important issue. I, I think it's simply having to do with I mean, promoting introspection mm. rather than looking out for satisfaction. Mm. I think many religions have those uh, this thing, mm. but how you mm. transmit them. That. So yeah. we used to transmit it by, I, I think our generation in India has failed in one respect. We are afraid to be called bores. You know, we are afraid that our children will call us boring. Mm. So we don't repeat what we think is right mm. several times. Mm. Mm. Ultimately, to get this message across, you have to repeat yourself. In fact, I think one pastor told me, a Christian pastor, he repeated himself seven times and I said, why did you do that? He said, gee, did I do that? Then I did right. Because in the school of pastors, they tell me, only one seventh of the congregation is listening at any time. <laughs> 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 These okay. old religions knew this. Yeah. Okay. So we did it by repetition, but our generation onwards, I think we are very sensitive to being called both. I think you can't change uh, the television and then we are back to television. Mm. Yeah. The, it, it, well, it's so different now and uh, so overwhelming that uh, people can't change mm -hmm. this kind of behavior mm -hmm. oh, of the Club of Rome Club of about Rome. the development in the, oh. in the future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what club was it called? So, between, uh, you know, the, I, I can't remember mm -hmm. the, the, um, uh, what, what, what this was uh, named, but that was the first time that they said, well, engineering is bad. You destroy the world. Really, yeah. That was Club of Rome in 1973. No? Mm. Se yeah, 73. Mm. Until then, engineering was a very, uh, very good fashion in all over the world, especially in, in Europe. But uh, after the Club of Rome declared that in 40 years uh, we have more or less no resources anymore and so on, that was, I, at least in Germany, I saw that was it really put upside down the. Uh, the, the, uh, the opinion of uh, the public. Mm. Mm. Do you mm. really mm. appear? Mm. No? Do you know about that? Mm. No. I, I'm totally... No. <laughs>
in, in molecular biology. Um, it seems to me that that, that time frame began tremendous advances, and I, I think it was a very exciting era. But at the same time, the concern about ecology. Well, at the same I, time. I would say that what you noted before, oh, okay. addressing some of these grand challenges will excite people. I'm, mm. I'm interacting with people all around the world, mm. and the young people who are very talented are very, very concerned about the environment. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I think the challenge for us mm -hmm. is to get them to convert their passion into fundamental understanding. Mm -hmm. I have people at, at my university who, you know, believe that we should be recycling everything, mm -hmm. and they don't understand, they haven't analyzed mm -hmm. this well enough to understand that recycling may turn out to be more damaging mm -hmm. <laughs> than helpful. Mm -hmm. And I think people believe that by policy alone, mm -hmm. we're going to solve some of these problems. Mm -hmm. we, need, we need technological advances mm -hmm in order to support a population that's going to move to 9 billion in a mm -hmm. short space mm -hmm. of time. Mm -hmm. But you see where exaggeration is leading us for biomass and mm -hmm. how much do you put in? It's negative right mm -hmm. now. But every politician mm -hmm. and every young mm -hmm. people uh, concerns about the environment mm -hmm. and saying, well, we need biodiesel, right. things like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's, mm -hmm. yeah. oh, mm -hmm. In the United States, uh, bioenergy is big. Mm -hmm. But uh, using corn to produce ethanol has driven up corn prices dramatically. There, are, I mean, there are people making money. Don't mm -hmm. get me wrong. I mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> whenever there's change, mm -hmm. there's the opportunity to make money. Yes. But um, there isn't enough fundamental science being done to determine whether you can do a large-scale bioenergy. But I, I would better than I do. Oh, you're, you're, sorry, I'm a mathematician. You're a mathematician, yeah, you're a mathematician but you know that much better the engineering uh, uh, population and the engineering community as such. My line would be that the the issues of, uh, of sustainability are probably the most challenging for engineers to, to solve in terms of coming up with, say, sustainable. Uh, in this sense, biofuel is not at all sustainable. Mm -hmm. And I think that mm -hmm. many economists mm -hmm. have immediately, this is where you enter the behavior side. Uh, you have the technology side, which as such could solve a particular problem, but which has in its economic implementation often has side effects alternatively leads to things which initially you didn't calculate mm -hmm. in the technical analysis of what biofusel would be. I mean, the, that's a very good example that if, I mean, the example often given by economists is that if you would, rather than plant, um, use agriculture to, to for biofusel, fuel, you would just plant their trees, you would have a much bigger impact on CO2 mm -hmm. reduction than you would have to with any biofuel. So if, if for instance, all these, so this is typically going back to the behavioral aspects where well, you need, again, the technological knowledge behind it, mm -hmm. but where so it's much more properly used by, by right. social sciences and behavioral sciences. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our former president of the German Research Council once said, we have started to manipulate the nature, and the only chance for us is to do it in the future, too. And this is absolutely right. Mm -hmm. we, we, we can't, we can't mm -hmm. uh, stop naturally, it. No. Yeah, naturally yeah. wait so for there's that. There's no yeah. stop for this. Right. No, yeah. no. Okay. I still think that uh, has to be uh, introduced. Mm -hmm. Like uh, if a uh, you know, student decides to uh, devote himself to science research to reduce amount of uh, CO2, then I think he or she has to feel that she made a right decision to do so by receiving proper reward. And maybe that is you know, coming from like a taxation on CO2s. Um, and unless otherwise, uh, you know, uh, I mean, speech, spiritual satisfaction will not make people's mind, you know, change. Unfortunately, I don't Unfortunately. think. Unfortunately, yeah. Unfortunately, but I guess mm. that yeah, it would be mm. really nice if we can have inner reward, you know, about mm. oh yes, I service to the mankind, but that's yes. not that doesn't that's work not. all the time. Yeah. So
so yes, we if we mm. can well, intellectual property. Intellectual no, property is definitely another one. If yes. we can give a abundant reward to That's whoever right. owns this exactly. conservation, yeah, exactly. uh, yeah. then yeah. Uh, that probably exactly. is a good reward. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I think we'll just I'll give one person, everybody, just a few seconds, and uh, maybe we will finish this session because it's almost an hour now, right? Okay. So starting from you. Anything I guess you might want to say about this global HR forum. <laughs> 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 어떻게 발전할 거 어떻게 좀 이공계 학생들을 많이 끌어올 건가? Many you know ideas, but it's just let's make a conclusion of each of you to how we can draw these people to students to the engineering school. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make a difference in the world, and I think through science and engineering, there's adequate proof that it can be done. But we have to celebrate the successes and support the students very generously in terms of pursuing degrees. I also believe, uh, one reason I wanted to participate in this forum is that the world is more interdependent today and we need to encourage people in science and engineering to work across traditional boundaries, political and otherwise. Mm -hmm. And I think we're moving to an era where while we're competing, mm -hmm. each country, we're also having to cooperate. Mm -hmm. If you look at the development of the new Boeing Dreamliner. Mm -hmm. um, that's a, an advanced materials system mm -hmm. that has uh, drawn on advances from many countries and manufacturing of that plane is taking place in many different locations. So it's not simply an American product mm -hmm. and it will be sold around the world. And I think engineers and scientists are excited when they can look at a plane like that and say, I participated in that development. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. This is a, be a science major. I, my PhD degree is in physics. Uh, <laughs> I, I um, exactly for this reason I changed my career 180 degree to, you know, getting into the consulting industry 23 years ago. Now I'm about to retire from this industry and uh, what, I'm, <laughs> what I wanted to do is to really encourage, you know, science and engineering major students to be kind of super engineer, uh, more creative, mm -hmm. not to produce, you know, something like mm -hmm. this that anyone can produce mm -hmm. it, but use the right brain right. to come up with something really new. Unique. Yeah, unique, only one product. And that's the, uh, I think is a, you know, for short term, it's probably the only way that they can get rewarded. Mm -hmm. yeah, so that's, that's something that I, you know, wanted to encourage, keep encouraging. Mm -hmm. A student through my academic, you know, career, which is coming. <laughs> yes. Right. Okay. There's a big uptake of mm -hmm. science and engineering students since last year and since this year, and that has been based on a very active policy directed towards women. First, mm -hmm. that's very successful at this moment, and secondly, directed towards exactly your point of making multi-engineering studies much more popular and, and attractive. Because it's very clear that, for instance, the, the success before and why the engineering students declined so much in the Netherlands was very much to do with the upcoming of biology. I mean, mm. You saw the incredible psychology and biology taking many students, um, uh, students from secondary schools, etc., who all sort of gone to that direction primarily because of all the discoveries and the, the way also this was presented as, as uh, most interesting features. I think you can shift this um, by showing precisely these couple of key examples, the sort of, you know, like this, this uh, having an engine driven without uh, energy, or purely in solar energy, mm -hmm. uh, having uh, new forms of air uh, transport, mm -hmm. having all kind of really projects which are done within the technical universities of Delft or others where, the, where groups of students are sitting together and suddenly this area becomes much more interesting because it's teamwork. Mm -hmm. You sit together, you have to build things, to make things and you see that you can attract back a very large number of students who having finished their psychology or biology students find themselves with so many other students there that the areas where they can then continue are relatively restricted. So I think it's really an issue about designing policies, getting the information down to the students, and coming up with a couple of key examples, uh, and of course, 
challenging exactly as you put it, sort of bioengineering, other features where you combine fields and which appeal to students. Mm. Thank you. <coughs> well, Saint-Exupéry, maybe you know him, it was a famous writer in, in France. He once wrote, if you want uh, to build a ship, mm -hmm. don't educate the people to cut trees and uh, to make uh, uh, nails and things like that. Only make them eager to sail on the sea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is what we really need here. Uh, we, we have to bring over the fascination of uh, technology, the fascination like the Dreamliner or several other, other things and this should be done in the public. What's fascinating in doing things like that, more fascinating than any other thing and uh, when we do that then we can get the, the young people. Wonderful, wonderful. I think that's all very, very helpful. And thank you very much for joining us. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. So, so, yeah. Sorry it was late. I was informed this started at 6 o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was a little late, but then you were. I was a visiting professor at Florida Atlantic University for some while. Ah, okay. Now yeah. we so have nice. uh, oh, wow. cooperation with Florida Tech. I had my cards. Well, that is uh, improving. Oh, yeah, I'll say it's just celebrated their career. Yes, I have a bit. I have my card. It was like an Andy Rivera. Wow, wow. This is intro, intro speaking, okay. which we have to do. I don't know what we do on next term. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, something that Sorry. makes us really exciting. <laughs> we have to be very creative <laughs> ourselves too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's right. right. Yeah. We, we didn't talk only very uh, uh, short about uh, yeah. the uh, chance to get more women uh -huh. to work.